What's going on, everybody? It is your favorite Auntie Mo and baby. <laughs> we are back for another episode review of Catfish, y'all. This is season eight, episode two, Alfred and Adonis. As always, regular church announcements. If you have not done so just yet, please take a moment. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think about this video. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and then hit the notification bell so you will know whenever I upload new content, y'all. Your auntie had to take it back for a minute. Give me my little old Moscato. I'm already with you number three. I think this is glass number three. Yes, I do have to be to work tomorrow. <laughs> and yes, I'm feeling good as hell. Y'all, this episode was good. It went down. <laughs> it had a bunch of twists and it got a lot damn turns in it. <laughs> I'm feeling good off this goddamn wine. Look here, y'all. I don't want to waste no more dog on time. Hopefully, y'all are ready for this review because I'm ready to give it to you. So, let's go ahead and get right on up into it. All right, y'all. So, we have Keyshawn. Keyshawn was the one that reached out to the show. He's reaching out on behalf of his brother, Alfred, right? His brother, Alfred, has two kids. And his brother, Alfred, is taking a space in his house right goddamn now because he got into it with his ex. Him and his ex, Antonio, were together for five going on six years. But they broke up all of a sudden out the blue. And then nobody know what the hell it was for, right? Well, Come to find out, Alfred was hiding a whole goddamn secret, okay? He was having a whole damn online relationship with this guy named Adonis that he has never met before, <laughs> never FaceTime with, never talked to on the phone for a whole damn year. You heard me, a whole year. Never talked to on the phone and never FaceTime. In a whole year? Where they do that at? Y'all, I know it's 2020 now, but then when this was recorded, it was 2019. Like, how are we still falling for the same old shit? I'm not I'm understanding this. Like, help me, Sway. Help me. And Alfred does not look like a dumb man by far. You look very educated. Very educated. You're a very educated man. How you let this happen, I'm not too sure. Another reason why, um... <clears throat> Brother is reaching out. Brother, like, look here. Um, I love my brother. I do. You know, I, I take a bullet for this nigga. But um, him and his two kids stand with me right now. And these niggas gotta go. They, 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 they. I love them. You know, I slap shit out of them. you. Say something about my brother, but oh, oh, this nigga and his kids gotta go. They, they gotta go. I feel bad for his whole situation and the whole breakup. I mean, it's tragic. It hurt my heart, but Lord. This nigga gotta go. I need y'all to help me figure out who catfishing this nigga. So, <laughs> help me help you help him. You know what I'm saying? So, Neve ends up calling Keyshawn. They're on FaceTime talking whatever, right? He says that he feels like his brother has messed up his relationship and that he broke up with his long-term boyfriend that he was with for almost six years for a nigga that he's never even met before. Now, look here. Let me pause for the cause. As much technology as it is in the world, I'm not understanding how niggas is getting catfished out here in these streets now. It's just, it don't make no damn sense to me. Everybody, I'm not the smartest chick in the world. You know what I'm saying? At times, my, my bulb don't always shine bright like a motherfucking diamond, but I can tell you this so everybody that's on messenger and that's how he ended up reaching out to him now hold on because i'm getting ahead of myself so as neve is on the facetime with the brother keisha neve asked uh keisha so where that nigga at right there he he at the house with you put the nigga on the phone tell him come get his ass over here on the phone right now child he goes against alfred alfred come sit down he was not expecting neve and Cameron to be on no goddamn <laughs> facetime ready to talk with him he comes sitting down looking like oh bitch did you really just come Hey, bitch, I'm going to beat your ass. Meanwhile, the brother on the side like, mm-hmm, bitch, yup, sure did. Bitch, it's time. It's time. So, Neve asked Alfred, how did you end up meeting this guy, Adonis, that you've been talking to? Alfred says that about a year ago, him and his ex got into it. He puts a post on Facebook basically saying how he's having a bad day. Lo and behold, Adonis just pops up in his Facebook messenger 
And it's like, I seen that you having a bad day. I just wanted to check on you, see how you doing. But see how I can be the sunshine on your cloudy day. Mind you now, he says he ain't not now not a bit know this motherfucker. He ain't got no Facebook page. The dude just popped up out of nowhere, sent him a message. He's got a few pictures of him. Never talk to him on the phone. Never FaceTime him. Now, I'm not the smartest, you know, woman alive. But everybody on goddamn messenger can either FaceTime or talk. What we doing here? What? How, Sway? How you not been able to talk to this man or see him in a whole year? How? He says Adonis is 24. He's in the military. And he has no social medias. Now... Again, <laughs> Alfred, you look like a real smart ass man, intelligent. You, I know you graduate. You look like you graduated. How? How you not see all them damn signs right there in front of your face? So they get to the crib to meet up with Alfred and the brother and, um, you know, kind of get the rundown, see what the hell is really going on, right? So when they get to the crib... <clears throat> His brother and um, his brother's girlfriend is there. Now, the brother's girlfriend is really good friends with Antonio, who is his ex that he was in a relationship with for six years. Now, um, Alfred says that the relationship with him and Antonio was real toxic. They loved each other, but they was fighting at the same damn time. They was like, to the public, to everybody out there that sees. Now, mind you, they're from a real small town called Sanford. I believe it was in North Carolina, uh, connect something like that. Even a little small-ass, country-ass town where everybody and everybody got damn business. You can't creep or do nothing got because... Everybody gonna be in everybody goddamn business. If your mama slept with the milkman and the mailman is your daddy, everybody gonna goddamn know about it. That's the kind of town that they live in. So, to everybody in the town, him and um, Antonio had this beautiful, loving relationship. You know, like, Antonio was a stepdaddy, basically, to his two kids that he has. And on the meantime, in between time, when they back at home, they goddamn, like... Jay-Z and Solange in the back of the goddamn room, bare knuckle brawling, fighting and shit, and don't nobody goddamn know it. So he said he had to get on up out that relationship. So when he put that message on Facebook, Adonis just came like a breath of fresh air, and he was like his peace, his relief. You know what I'm saying? He was able to talk to him when he wasn't able to talk to Antonio. They had a really tight relationship, and, you know, he just, re he was, you know, really starting to develop feelings for him. Although you never seen the motherfucker, never talked to him on the phone, and only had a few pictures of him. So Neve asked Alfred about how many pictures does he think he's gotten of him over the whole year that they've been talking. This nigga say two to three pictures in a whole year. Two to three, those to three pictures in a whole year. Y'all. This shit is just, <laughs> it can't be no more obvious. I was just sitting back looking at this like, dog, if this ain't so fucking obvious, like, not even really who the catfish is, but really that you being catfished, I'm like, really, nigga? Really? Okay. Oh, but he got plenty dick pics. <laughs> he got wang pics. He got plenty of those. You ain't got much pictures of here, but you got all the Wayne pics. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Priorities. I ain't even mad at you. So Alfred was kind of holding back. He really didn't want to say what the issue was between him and Antonio. It wasn't until the brother and his girlfriend got up and left because he was like, look here, you know what I'm saying? I really don't want to say much why them two is here. Not no offense or nothing towards them, but you know, that's his family. He don't even want to, you don't say nothing in front of them, right? So the brother and the girlfriend get up and leave. He was like, Kim was like, okay, bitch, now we can spill some TT, bitch. <laughs> Let me unhook this bra in the back. Okay, now, bitch, tell me what's going on. What happened? So Alfred says the relations between him and Antonio was pretty much non-existent. That he would be, you know, laying right there next to him. He would make advances towards him and Antonio would shut him down. He didn't know 
what else to do, what else was going on. And so he, you know, basically was finding attention and love elsewhere. Now he says that him and um, Adonis were supposed to meet up, but he kind of goes to them. He ain't heard nothing else back from him. Need was like, bitch, don't even worry about it. I got my bitch Cammy. We find bitches for a living. That's what we do. Send me all the information that you got. I'm going to take it back on to my little old Neve bat cave. And we finna figure this shit out. We gonna come back and holler at you though. So Neve and Cammy go off to do their little investigation, right? Alfred sends them all the information that he has on Adonis. Sends him the phone number, you know, um, whatever social media shit he had, which was non-existent, but what his Facebook, you know, uh, uh, messenger information and shit was. He also was like, look here. I'm also going to give you this nigga named Vance name, right? Now, Vance was a little salty when me and Antonio got together. So, he's somebody that you probably want to keep on your little goddamn radar. Just so that you know, I ain't saying nothing, but I'm just saying like, investigate this bitch too. And he was like, all right, cool. I'm going to keep this bitch in my back pocket. Show no good looking out. I'm going to holler at you though. So, as always, they start with the phone number, search it. It's a landline, ends up being a text app. Boom, throw that out, right? Searching through pictures. First picture, zinch, didn't find none, right? Second picture, search for it. Bing, something pops up. Ends up finding him on goddamn Facebook. Boom, we got action. It's this nigga named Dominic. Just like that. It was that damn easy. All you had to do, and I learned that from Dave. Do a picture search, a reverse search on the pictures and shit. You gonna see what's really going on. Come to find out, the pictures that he has is really of this dude named Dominic. He is not Adonis. So Neve ends up sending Dominic a message like, look here, this is Neve from Catfish. We think somebody out here trying to catfish motherfuckers and they're using your information. I'm going to need you to holler at back at this me texting on my phone. I'm going to need you to holler back at me when you get a minute. Sign MTV Catfish Neve, bitch. <laughs> so the next thing they do, they end up looking up Vance. The guy he said that introduced him and Antonio, you know, Antonio's little ex was probably a little salty when they got together. Bitch, they look up Vance social media. Boom, soon as they pull up his social media, we got action. We got a picture of Neve sitting up there posted in they town like this. With these two fans, can be like, bitch, I took the picture. Girl. So they like, wait a minute. Hold on. Are we being played? Are we in this catfish shit? Are they trying to put us in this bitch? So what it is was, it was a picture of Neve and two fans in their town where they're at right now, Sanford. The shit was just posted. It's all around town. The milkman, the paper boy, <laughs> Evening news, everybody know Catfish is in town. They looking for some goddamn body. Vince don't put it on his social media. So they like, okay, is he trying to be petty out here? Like, uh-huh, yeah, bitch, I'm being shady, but I'm not being shady. I'm letting you know that Neve is here. I know he's here. I know why he's here, but I really don't know why he's here. Neve is like, uh-huh, bitch, you looking real, real, real shady. I'm going to keep your fucking ass in my back pocket for real. They also see that the fool was in the military. So they like, oh, wait a minute. He was in the military. Adonis was in the military too. So, hold on, bitch. <laughs> Some may seem right, bitch. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So Dominic actually ends up reaching back out to him. They end up FaceTiming him. They like, Dominic, look here. So it's somebody out here catfishing bitches. They're using your pictures. Do you know somebody named Alfred? Um, Baby boy Dominic's like, I'm so sorry. I feel so sorry for that man. I do not know who that man is. <laughs> I am very much married. Happily out this bitch. No, I don't know who the hell he is. And they're like, I'll word. Okay, cool. That's fucked up. One more question though. Do you know this dude named Vance that you was probably in the military with? Because he ends up telling them that he was stationed in Fort Bragg. The same place where old dude Vance was stationed. So it's just more and more signs leading towards Vance, right? So even I'm like, you know what? This nigga suspect. 
So they get over there to the crib to meet up with Alpha so they can give him a little rundown, chop it up with him, let him know what they find out, right? Now, his best friend was the one that dropped him off over there to the house. I guess it's his brother house, whatever they was at. Friend wasn't going to stay because friend had to go pick up her babe from daycare, right? She was like, no, nah, I'm going to go holler at y'all later and let y'all do what y'all do. She goes to leave. Neve, Cammie, and Alfred go sit down at the table. They chopping it up. He telling them, you know, about everything that's going on. Next thing you know, best friend come back in the house. She like, uh, bitch, it's somebody outside. They say they want to talk to you. Alfred look at Neve like, bitch, did you invite company? Neve said, oh, no, bitch, I didn't. I thought they was with you. Uh, no, I ain't invite no goddamn body. So Alfred gets up, goes outside. He's talking to somebody outside, right? But you can't see who it is. The producers with their good sneaky, nosy ass, he mic'd up so they can hear what he's saying. The producer's like, bitch, hold on. He say it ain't none of your business, bitch. Don't worry about it. They hear from me. I don't give a damn what he's saying, but um, this is what's going. Oh, bitch, he coming back. He coming back. He gonna need. Damn, that was crazy. What happened? Now you know what happened. That goddamn producer told your ass what happened. Quit goddamn playing with me. Well, it was Antonio's best friend. Antonio's best friend came over there asking him, why is Catfish here? What they doing here? What they looking for? Everybody around town saying Catfish is looking for you. So Alfred said, I had to let her know it ain't nobody business. Don't worry about it, none of that. Alfred like, see, this is why I didn't want y'all niggas coming here. Because everybody knows it. And I know that's going to be all up in my damn business. So finally, they give him a whole rundown about everything that they found out. They end up showing him a video message that Dominique made, like letting him know, like, look here, boo-boo, I'm so sorry. Whoever this is, play it your ass. But, bitch, I am married. I am taken. It was not me. I am so sorry. God, y'all, you can see Alfred's whole little old heart just break. I felt bad for him. So, y'all, after they give it a little old rundown or whatever, Alfred, like, look here, I'm sick of this shit. I'm just going to text him, let him know, look here, we need to have to meet up. Because uh, we ain't fit to do this no more, right? So, Kimmy and Neve, they all leave and finna go back to the hotel room. About to kick up, you know. Kimmy finna take a bra, sit back, put her feet up, chill. You know what I'm saying? Do whatever she do. Neve finna sit and scratch his chest hair. <laughs> I'm fucking with you, Neve. But you probably feel, I know that chest hair is itchy as hell. But they finna go back to the hotel and they just finna sit back and they finna chill or whatever, right? As they get into the car to leave... They leaving out. Antonio comes walking up. The ex. He's like, what's up? Oh, so Catfish is here. Catfish is here. What we doing? Soon as I see that, I was like, uh-uh. Oh, uh -uh. uh -uh. get up in each other's face. They get to arguing. Because Antonio's like, what is Catfish doing here? What are you doing? Why ain't you tell me what's going on? Whoop the whoop, yada, yada, yada. Alfred, like, it ain't none of your damn business. We ain't together no more. Why the hell is you worried about it? Um, Antonio said, can we go over here to the side and talk? Because I don't need everybody all in my damn business. Alfred, like, no, bitch, you came to my house. We finna sit and talk about it right goddamn here. Neve is like, look, hold on, y'all. Let's calm down. Let's separate. Let's move to the side. Neve goes and takes Alfred to the side and talking to him like, look here, calm down. You know what I'm saying? Let's not do this. Cammy is over here talking to Antonio. And she's like, look, boo, I don't know you. You came and put 10 on 20. We was just sitting up here chilling. Bitch, it's too hot for this. Let's just sit and talk. You know, my name is Cammy, bitch. Nice to meet you. Like, let's just chill out for a minute or whatever, right? Neve goes and tells Alfred, just go out there and let him know how you feel. Just tell him, you know, chill out. We ain't about that life right now. It's too fucking hot to be out here fighting. I could see the sweat on them. They looked hot. So, child, Alfred and Antonio go to the side, and they talking, and they arguing. And Tony, like, really, you finna leave me for somebody you don't even know? Somebody you never even met before? Somebody you don't even talk, you ain't never even seen before? As he's saying that, I'm like, how does he know all this? But then again, I'm like, okay, he is real cool with the brother's girlfriend. So, she probably going back, running her mouth, telling him everything that's going on. Again, they're in a small town. They ain't got shit else to do. Baby, next thing you goddamn know, this motherfucker Antonio going to say, oh, really? You out here looking for Alfred, right? I mean, you out here looking for Adonis. You know why you ain't going to find Adonis? I'm Adonis, bitch. Oh, what? What? 
Baby, next thing you know, Afro was like, oh, oh, you Adonis, bitch? Oh, oh, you Adonis? Baby, they started fighting, started swinging. Baby, Neve came over there chopping. <laughs> he was ready to break up the fight. Bitch, it's like he had been an active trainer shooting all goddamn his life. He like, nigga, I've been training all season for this shit. That nigga took off. He was ready to stop that goddamn fight. Child, they over there on the floor tussling, fighting and fighting and tussling. Cammy over here holding. Cammy was me all day. She was like, oh, whoa, 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 guys, look here. This bitch is hot. Why is we out here doing this? What is y'all doing, Lord? They fighting. It was a fucking mess. So finally, after Neve and them broke up the doggone fight, Antonio, his polo feelings is just hurt. He, he tired as hell. He had to do all that goddamn fighting. So, child, he gets in his car, but before he leaves, Neve goes over there, talks to him, and was like, uh, bitch, hold on. Did I hear you right? Did I hear you say you the catfish like you are, Adonis? He's like, yes, I'm Adonis. I can't talk about that right now. It's just a whole lot going on. Neve is like, okay, I know you don't want to talk about it right now, but, bitch, we going to talk about it because that's the whole damn reason I'm here. So, I'm going to let you go home and rest. But, bitch, I'm going to need you to call me in the morning because we got to talk. We got to talk about this shit. So, y'all, it's the next day, right? They go and they meet up with Antonio first. He's at his best friend Jasmine's house. Now, Jasmine is saying it's all over social media. Everybody knows about Catfish being in town. I'm pretty sure everybody knows now what they there for because somebody done put it on goddamn social media exactly what they there for, right? So, they end up going inside and they talking to um Antonio. Antonio says that everything with him and Alfred's relationship started off good. Alfred was sweet to him, nice to him, like everything was great. Not too long after that, Alfred cheated on him. Afterwards, he never was really able to trust him that much afterwards, right? So he said he forgave him after he cheated, but shortly he like started this profile just to see if he was really actually out there still cheating. And he was. Now, I'm, I, this just me, I'm just gonna say this. I kind of feel Antonio when he was like, you know, if a nigga done been out there cheating on you multiple times, I'm not one finna be having relations with you all the time, neither. Like, not saying that that's an excuse for him to have to go out and seek what he got to seek somewhere goddamn else. No, that's what you got your goddamn hand for. But what I'm saying is, you cheated, like, Nigga, it's a privilege to get these cookies after that. I'm just saying. Now, Antonio does take accountability for his part. He says that, you know, he realized he shouldn't have done that. He shouldn't have created that. But he just wasn't down with having relations four, five times a day. And especially, I'm like I'm saying, I'm knowing he thinking in the back of his mind, nigga, you been out there laying a little spread of rice, slaying a dangling everywhere. I don't want that on that. I'm going to get it when I want to. You know what I'm saying? So he said him talking to or him um you know making this adonis persona was a way for him to be able to communicate with alfred because their relationship had fallen all the way off they weren't talking no more they weren't getting along it wasn't nothing going positive but he was able to talk with alfred as adonis how they talked when they first got together y'all know what i'm saying like i started actually feeling really bad for antonio i really did it's like he didn't do it to be malicious or to be mean. Yeah, he wanted to know if this nigga was cheating. But at the same time, like he says, he still loves him. Like, y'all, oh, he started crying. And I was just like, baby, don't cry. You shouldn't have did that shit. That was crazy. But, I, I'm so, oh, my heart was hurt for him. Like, he, they was crying real tears. So finally, they go and they meet up with Alfred. Child, when they get to Alfred's house, his brother and his girlfriend was sitting on the front step like, yeah, nigga. What the fuck was wrong with you? Why you do that? You know everybody was going to know about this shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Uh? Antonio's whole thing is he wants to be able to like move past the whole thing. He wants to put everything behind them so they can work on their, their relationship and get back to how they used to be. I'm kind of like Alfred. Like, look here. What you did is unforgivable. We can't go back and be cool afterwards. We can be friends, but we can't just, like, this ain't no forgivable shit. Like, I'm just going, oh, bitch, you got me. I forgive you. No. No, hell no. He's like, we can be we can be cool, but, bitch, we ain't. <laughs> we not cool like that. No. So, y'all, two-month follow-up, right? 
Antonio and uh, Alfred have moved back. Actually, Alfred and his two kids moved back in the house with Antonio. They said financially it is better for them to live under the same roof. Roof. However, they are not together. They're in, they're not in a relationship, but, you know, Antonio still gets to be there for him and his kids because that's what he was saying that, you know, he really misses the kids. He misses the close relationship. He misses the family and all that, but they're not in an actual relationship together. Now, when he said that, I'm like, Lord. Okay, I mean, okay, if that's what you say, Antonio says he's doing good, you know, <laughs> uh, he ain't out here catfishing this nigga no more, not that we know of, <laughs> so he says, y'all, but the episode ended from there, they're living in the same house, they not together, uh, they still probably landing low and spreading it wide, I don't give a damn when nobody's, I don't care, it is what it is. Y'all, if it was anything that I missed, y'all already know. Drop it down below and let me know. Your auntie is good and tipsy. I ain't had no wine whew, in a long time. And this damn show felt good. <laughs> Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your auntie Mo will see you in the next video. Peace out. What's going on, y'all? Look here. If you like this video, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up. Share this video. Comment on this video. All of that good stuff. And if ain't nobody else told you today, I sure enough love you and I sure enough appreciate you.